bigger scale, you know, this is definitely a bigger scale, and this is a, a, a better fight than the last one. What did you make of the scorecards overall? You know, they were kind of all, all over the place. What did you thought about that? Um, I mean, I felt like, I definitely felt like I won it. Um, I didn't I, I see how they scored it for him, but I mean, whatever. I definitely, I didn't, it was, I don't think it was close, but I know my performance never got close. What adjustments do you think you should have made throughout the fight? To maybe have a better performance to your life. Um, just cut him off more. Um, just cut him off more, and I feel like now I can say that I, I should have been. Um, a lot of times I was doing, the, I was doing the throw off jab. But I should have been stepping with my jab instead of just throwing, like trying to throw a setup jab. You know, and then after I dropped him, I definitely should have just, you know, cut him off more and stuff like that. Throw more shots to the body. Just How would you get frustrated as the fight went on? You couldn't put him away, and he kept, kept being able to board you. Yeah, I was getting a little frustrated, for sure. I definitely was getting frustrated, yeah. How much trouble do you think he was in when he knocked him down? Do you think he was in trouble? Um, I don't, I, I don't, I didn't really see how he fell, to be honest. So I don't know. He got up, he got up kind of okay. I didn't think he was in, like, super trouble. I mean, he could have been in a little trouble, but I don't think it was, like, lights out time. This is a good shot. You did a backflip. Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't really see it. I saw I dropped him, and then I just went to you know, I hurry up and went to the um, which corner. Uh, did you, you feel like you said have, uh, maybe had a, a camp? I know you said it was like six weeks. You know, I know you just mentioned the matching comp. Basically, they called you. Yeah. They called you. Hey, you gotta fight. You gotta set this up no matter what. Mm -hmm. you feel like maybe your, your your training camp wasn't maybe not a hundred percent. Maybe you just wanted to take. No, a definitely never. I would never say that my hundred my, my training camp was a hundred percent. That's never gonna be a excuse for me. No, I train. Um, you know, we had a switch of opponents, but I still train like that. It was just like I said, the opponent he just came, he just ran around. That was that was it. Well, what you said in the ring when you lost the first round, were you knocked down? That? I think I, it looked like it. I'm not gonna lie. Like when I was, when I when it happened, I was like, that wasn't a knockdown because I I did fall on his feet, but then he did hit me with a shot, and so it looked like I got. Did it like, feel like a knockdown? No, that's what I'm saying. In the ring, it didn't feel like a knockdown at all. So you didn't take a second round off just to recover? No, I wasn't. Never hurt in the fight at all. I mean, I think I have some stuff on my face, but I never like he never hit me with a shot that was like, all right, this dude really hit hard. It wasn't nothing like that. Um. When you said you were getting the jitters a little bit, we've had this week where everyone's been talking about how you got Tiago Lopez on, and you said you wanted to stop being asked about it, which I do understand, but do you think that added to the pressure you felt on the team? Probably so, of course. I mean, it's, it's a natural thing, you know, and sometimes you might overlook things you have. Um, you know, I have so many big opportunities in front of me for so much big, big, crazy money. And so sometimes you look past these opponents and I think not naturally that's kind of what you will do. And maybe I did. I was looking past them. I mean, I was, I guess I was looking past them. Really. Is it easier to not look like this if you're, if you're not at home? Do you think it just all kind of just adds up at once to the yeah, I think so. I mean, like I said, the hometown jitters thing, yeah. that's, you know, that's just a, that's just a real thing, bro. Like, I've seen so many fighters, they go on the road and they perform so good, and then, you know, they have so many fighters that they come home and they just look terrible because you just have so much pressure on